Welcome to My Rank YouTube channel for regular updates on application, counseling process, and guidance. Please like, share, subscribe to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Joint Seed Allocation Authority (JOSA). JOSA is conducting the counseling for qualified candidates of JE Mains and JE Advanced for admission into 23 Indian Institutes of Technology, 31 National Institutes of Technology. Indian Institute of Engineering Science and Technology Shibpur 26 Indian Institutes of Information Technology and 38 government funded technical institutes The seat allotments will be done based on the merit list of JE main and JE advanced rank Those who have passed JE advanced are eligible for admissions to IITs Those who have passed JE main are eligible for admission to NITs IIITs and GFTIs It is mandatory for the candidates to register through the official JOSA 2023 online portal. JOSA counseling has been already started on June 19, 2023. Registration. To get register, enter your JE main application number and password. In registration step 2, you need to verify your details like gender, nationality, passing place of class 12. state of eligibility and complete the registration process after registration students have to fill up their choices for colleges and courses the choice filling process is conducted online and it is a single time option filling no edit option will be given once system gets locked a candidate need to be very careful while filling the choices select the institutes and programs you want to apply for rank your choices in order of preferences and submit your choices JOSA will conduct a two mock rounds of counseling in two mock rounds student will be allotted seats based on their rank and choices however these allotments are not final and do not guarantee that students will be allotted the same seats in the actual rounds of counseling students can modify their choices up to the last date of counseling that is june 28 up to 5 pm A candidate who has been allotted a seat needs to download the initial seat allotment intimation slip and follow the steps. Freeze, float, and slide. Freeze. The candidate accepts the offer seat and indicates that the candidate is content with the allotted academic program and the candidate does not want to participate in further rounds of seat allocation while retaining the same seat. Float. The candidate accepts the offer seat and indicates that. If admission to an academic program of higher preference in any institute is offered in subsequent rounds of seat allocation the candidate will accept it. Slide The candidate accepts the offer seat and indicate that if admission to an academic program of higher preference is offered within the same institute in subsequent rounds of seat allocation the candidate will accept it. Documents required for online reporting for seat acceptance: tenth class marks memo, intermediate marks memo, caste certificate, state of eligibility proof, bank passbook or cancelled check, medical fitness certificate in JOSA format. Seat acceptance fee payment: rupees twenty thousand for SC, ST, and PWD, and rupees forty thousand for all other candidates. The seat acceptance fee excluding JOSA processing charges of rupees 4000 will be adjusted against the admission fee. After the fee payment the documents will be verified by allocated institute and if any query is raised the candidate need to respond immediately within the last day. If not responded the candidate seat will be automatically get cancelled. Once the documents verified the candidate will be able to download partial seat acceptance allotment letter. There are 6 rounds of counseling in JOSA. Important dates for round 1. Seat allocation on June 30, 2023. Online reporting fee payment document uploading June 30, 2023 to July 4, 2023 by 5 pm. Last date to respond to query July 5, 2023 by 5 pm. For round 2, seat allocation July 6. Online reporting and payment July 6 to July 10. Last day to report to the queries July 11 by 5 pm. Withdrawal of seat from July 7 to July 10 by 5 pm. Withdrawal query response 
July 11th by 5 pm. Round 3. See the location July 12th. Online reporting July 12th to July 14th by 5 pm. Last date to respond to query July 15th by 5 pm. Initiation of withdrawal of seed July 13th to July 14th by 5 pm. Withdrawal query response July 15th by 5 pm. Round 4. Seed allocation July 16th. Online reporting July 16th to July 19th. Last day to report to the queries July 20 by 5 pm. Initiation of withdrawal of seed July 18 to 19. Withdrawal of query response July 20. For round 5, seed allocation July 21st. Online reporting July 21st to 24th. Last day to respond to query July 25th. Initiation of withdrawal of seed July 21 to 24th. Withdrawal of query response July 25th. Students can withdraw their seed from the second round until the fifth round of counseling. To withdraw a seed, students need to log in into the JOSA portal and submit a withdrawal request. The withdrawal request will be processed within 24 hours. Once a student withdraws their seed, they will not be eligible to participate in any subsequent rounds of counseling. For IITs, fifth round is the last date for seed withdrawal or exit option. Round 6 is the final round for seed allocation for IITs. Round 6, seed allocation, July 26. Online reporting, July 26 to July 28. Last date for respond to query, July 28. Initiation of withdrawal of seed, July 26 to July 27. Withdrawal of query response, July 28 by 5 pm. After 6 round for NIT, reply T, GFTI, Candidates provisionally allocated seats in any round of JOSA has not been cancelled or withdrawn. Need to pay partial admission fee rupees 16,000 for SEST PWD, rupees 36,000 for all other categories. If a candidate got a seat in IIT, the candidate need to visit allotted college website for further information. If a candidate has been allotted a seat in an NIT, IIIT, or GFTI. In the sixth round of JOSA counseling and is satisfied with the allotted college, they can simply visit the allotted college website and complete the admission formalities. They can simply visit the allotted college website and complete the admission formalities. The admission formalities may vary from college to college, so it is important to check the college website for specific instructions. CSAP It stands for Central Seed Allocation Board. It is an organization that conducts a special round of counseling for admission to vacant seats in NITs, IIITs, and other GFTIs after JOSA counseling. The interested candidates for CSAP need to get registered by paying a special round enrollment fee. After the successful payment of the fee, candidates must proceed to enter their new choices. Any choices previously entered during JOSA rounds will not be considered for seat allocation in the CSAP special rounds. In CSAP, there will be two special rounds. Round 1. Seat allotment. Choose willingness option like freeze, slide, float, surrender allotted seat, document uploading, payment of institute admission fee, online reporting and document verification. Round 2. Seat allotment, document uploading, payment of institute admission fee to document verification and online reporting. After completion of CSAP special round 1 and 2, candidates who have confirmed their allotted seats must report to the designated institutes for the admission process. Thank you for watching. For admission and counseling guidance, Contact us on double nine eight double five zero triple six eight. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you.